The Russian vaccine against cancer, Enteromix, has successfully passed preclinical trials. It is now ready for use as per the FMBA of Russia. Enteromix is an intramuscular injection and has already entered early clinical use at several oncology centers in Russia. Patients with lung, breast, colorectal or pancreatic cancers can easily benefit from it. High-risk patients with hereditary cancer syndromes and those with chemotherapy resistance cancers can now take the vaccine. However, it awaits approval from the DGCA and the Health Ministry in India at this point. My colleague Shereen, who tracks the Health Ministry for us, is going to be giving us those details. Shereen, if if this is going to be clear, of course, it's going to be landmark. But what are you picking up from the health ministry sources? How soon can we expect this entire process to be concluded in our country? So, well, uh, right now, uh, what we're learning is that Russia has officially announced that uh, as far as cancer is concerned, this is going to be a major groundbreaking wa uh, vaccine because after years of uh, research and uh, pre-clinical uh, trials, the vaccine has shown at least 100% Efficacy, But uh, this is too early because this is phase one is what we are being told. Uh, it is being rolled out in uh, in a clinical manner in Russia. Uh, Russia has to, of course, approach uh, the Russia Federation of Medicine, has to approach India uh, with the vaccine. And uh, then they have to get an approval from the DCGA and then further from health ministry. So the entire process could take about a few months or by the end of this year, we could uh, uh, see that a green signal could be given to this medicine, but this is, of course, a landmark, uh, uh, you know, uh, as far as uh, vaccines in India, uh, in across the world is concerned regarding cancer. This is one of uh, the first of its kind, and uh, this could, in fact, be a major boost as far as uh, uh, fighting cancer across the world is concerned. So uh, we are, of course, awaiting once it to be rolled out in Russia itself, then in other countries, and when Russia approaches India, Health Ministry and DGC approval is going to be awaited and we have to see whether that will be given or not. And Shireen, there has been a lot of stress from the government and from the health ministry on, you know, fighting cancer. For example, when we talk about uh, the cancer drugs and uh, especially as far as cervical cancer is concerned. So you do expect that the government would want to speed up this process? Absolutely, because when we talk about uh, uh, cancer in general, there are, of course, uh, in India, of course, they, uh, the rate has increased of people who have been affected by multiple cancers across the country. And this is a concerning situation for India, especially for the underprivileged who have to, of course, uh, shell out a lot of money uh, as far as treating cancer is concerned. So it is uh, one of the major priorities for health ministry to make the medicines affordable, to make the treatment of cancer avail uh, most, uh, more av affordable. And that is why a number of vaccines and medicines have already been given a green signal in India, which are of international brands or are of other countries. Uh, there is, in fact, a collaboration that is uh, going on with U.S. as well as far as the cancer medicines are concerned. And now this particular me uh, vaccine, which is Endromix, is going to be, of course, a groundbreaking one because this treats cancer uh, according to the tailored, uh, you know, the way uh, the patient needs it. If the patient is suffering uh, of cervical cancer of, or for that matter, matter lung cancer, it is going to be tailored according to his or her treatment. So that is what uh, is going to be a landmark uh, uh, you know, decision as far as this vaccine is concerned. Uh, but of course, it's awaited uh, approval in India. And like you said, Pallavi, that our fight is against cancer in India. And that's why we are going to, of course, see that this is in all likelihood being given a major approval in the country. Okay, thank you very much, Shireen, for giving that into perspective. Certainly something which all of us are looking forward to.